Good morning, you filthy little freaks. It's me, very briefly, to say uh, I couldn't upload anything yesterday. I could upload from the Elise and Sam channel, just not my main channel, which is very concerning. Thank God this isn't my job or anything. Uh, so feel free to suggest two days worth of stuff down in the comments section to add to the advent calendar or take the two must upvotes in and throw in instead because we have now officially missed a day. An enforced day off for me. It is a goddamn Christmas miracle because at the time of recording, there are two suggestions to add to our advent calendar. One of which has 248 votes, the other 250 votes. One is a meme and one is serious. And I'm very, so happy, overjoyed, in fact, to say that the one asking me to milk Oscar is the one that was not the more upvoted. And that means that the winner of the Avain calendar is none other than the Quarry Mod. I am, I am so happy. I'm overjoyed because this is going to allow me to build the Christmas base of my hopes and dreams. But we can't just have our elves working in a quarry. That'd be very bizarre. That seems unnecessarily cruel and not very Christmas. So naturally, it's a gingerbread quarry. Thank God that that meteor landed, otherwise we'd have been absolutely screwed. This is a special magical quarry that only elves can build. Fest joined. Fest, hello. Wait, was this Fest that I rescued from the from the drop pod? Greedy, ugly, psychopath, kind. What a mixed bag. Kapow, gingerbread quarry. You're amazing. <laughs> what a lazy, lazy design. Who did that, I wonder? Here's what I just bloody noticed. Fest is a, what is that, a Technomancer? Now the elves are limited in what side casting they can do. They can be Technomancers because of course they're very good at crafting. Empaths and Harmonists because they are kind and all about, you know, crafting things and, and blah, blah, blah. They're also Frost Shapers because it's Christmas. I haven't got any good reason for that one, to be honest with you. Uh, so you already start with what, Psy Level? Psy Level 1. Oh, shit. Well, that's great news. It kind of brings me on to something I wanted to talk about today. We recruited a lot of people very quickly. And I mean, without going back and watching, what traits did Stuffing have? Or Bauble? Or Christmas Carol? I've no idea. We suddenly picked up like six colonists over the course of 30 seconds, and I want to get to know them a little bit more. I want to know what they're here to do. Who they are as people. The stakes aren't exactly very high if they're just faceless people, right? And I want them to have a role in the colony. A role suited to who they are as people. By which I mean literally a role in the colony. As in, I've enabled a whole bunch of roles. All Christmassy themed. So Sweet Buttercup gets the role of Cookie Crumbler, the mining specialist. We'll find someone else. We'll fill that role with someone else. Don't worry. Don't worry, okay? A contract miner, mining of 12, double passion, body purist. They're a very simple character with very little else to work with. Uh, except for that hat they apparently got from somewhere. Where the hell did you get that? I mean, I'm not going to take it off of him. That's your hat now, Buttercup. Enjoy. Bauble... Is a stone cold killer. Sweet Bauble is psychically dull, annoying voice. Actually, psychically dull is kind of nuts, given that Santa's got to be sending his own psychasters. Shooting, and I did give you sharpshooting too. There is a good role for you in here somewhere, my friend. Bauble the Battle Elf can be Santa Slayer. <laughs> Don't all clap at once. <laughs> Sweet Christmas Carol, world weary, just wants to settle down. Good construction. In fact, the only character with good construction. Naturally, they have to become. Gingerbread architect and Methodius is shit. You're 14? What the hell do you mean you're 14? Yeah, 114 maybe. What the hell? Well, I was gonna give you a role, but I can't because you're still a child. Seems like you're so shit. Get out of here. Go on. I mean, I can give the role because technically they're an adult because 14 is not reward. Don't. I, 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 nothing to do with me. I don't set the rules. Medical of two double passion. You could eventually become Doctor Methodius, I suppose. Which, to be fair. That sounds like a super villain. That sounds a little dangerous. Um, Fest, who just joined us, greedy, ugly. They were a psychopath, but their their elven instincts has has overridden that. I'm not sure I've got anything for Fest, the ugly elf. Though, to be fair, given that you're a technomancer, I suppose the crafting role kind of makes perfect sense. Okay, you know what? I actually kind of like it. Wrong ideology. No, right ideology. Wrong ideology. This is the belief in Santa. We have beggars outside. Screaming at that child. Oh, reindeer. Hello. How you doing? What do you want? 27 medicine. How much medicine have I got? Oh, God. Oh, no. Stuffing. My friend Gumdrop died. You're going to go and kill a grizzly bear because your, your friend Gumdrop died. I'd rather you didn't. What? Wasn't that your wife? We could be both. You don't go and kill. Do not kill that grizzly bear. Do not kill that grizzly bear. Annabeth, arrest Stuffing. Oh, God. Somebody. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Annabeth. <laughs> Best character by a long way. Annabeth the Grinch. I let you out. You've got to promise not to kill General Sparks' pet polar bear. You, we don't need to recruit them. We you can just release them now. They're good. Thank you. Thank you, General. Get out. Go. Go live your life. Contribute to the colony. Don't kill any more grizzly bears. Oh, how am I going to give this reindeer? It's the, it's the season of giving. 
I am going to give them over half of our medicine. Fuck off, stuffing! What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Oh, Methodius is broken down. Insulting spree. No, 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 no. Where's the bear? I don't care where the bear is. Just get them arrested. Where are you going? Sorcerer and Christopher one. Don't go that way. Annabeth. Annabeth, I need your skills. Annabeth, I need your skills. Get sniped. Thank God somebody in this military establishment is good at dealing with. And immediately off you go again. Don't kill the bear. I beg you. God damn you. General Spark was in that bear of bonded. I don't think they've like actually bonded, but you mustn't. You mustn't kill the bear. Okay, here you go. There's your medicine. You are very, very welcome. Merry Christmas. Ooh, the gingerbread mine. Right, yeah, now let's get, uh, let's get Buttercup in there. Pretty much 24-7. Given that it's infinite, I, su I suppose I'll set it to second priority for you. First, what are you good at? I feel like you've got to leverage this many good crafters doing something, but I haven't really got much for you yet. Cap up with the research, given you've got a passion in it, I suppose. We've got a good doctor. Stuffings could make for a good doctor instead. Stuffing, what did I give you before? Did I even give you a rank before? Well, I was about to say, stuffing is our moral guide. But I'm really starting to regret that decision. <laughs> Beating the supposedly 14-year-old man doesn't scream moral guide to me, stuffing. Well done. But anybody can be moral guide, okay? I'm going to make stuffing the band-aid dispenser. Given that they've got very, very good medical. <laughs> you could have picked Methodius up first. And then you could have actually picked him up on your way out as well. You're all monsters. You're all terrible people. Oh, shit. General Cozy broke down. Are we... Are, are things really that bad? I'm, I'm having to hunt for all the food manually, so they're probably just hungry again. Desensitized, great memory, or very neurotic. Oh, God, you just went catatonic, huh? A fantastic memory for detail. Ooh. That'll be nice. I don't like the idea of my... Am my kind elves becoming desensitized or neurotic? Let's go for the nice... Positive, kind trait. Surely entrusting this 14-year-old to be the moral guide of the colony won't backfire. I mean, somebody's got to be the moral guide, and this guy is good at absolutely nothing else. I think we found a conversion staff somewhere, right? That looks like one right there. Come grab this. And then you just come and beat fest with it. We're not actually going to beat fest with it. There you go. 97%. Oh, shit. How much do you believe in sense already? Certainty 100%. You son of a bitch. 100% to 3.4%. You son of a bitch. That's okay. We'll get him. We'll get him. Please, God have mercy. I'm, I'm trying to make it so that everybody's a bit happier by tidying the base up, giving them a dedicated dining room. I can't put down a freaking cooler anywhere because it's all light terrain. Are we going to turn this into a freezer? Now the only place you can put a cooler down is right there. And then people in the comments are going to complain. Oh, we've got the heater place again doors. I haven't got a choice. I hate the river. I hate the river. Why the hell did I sign up for this? Okay, butcher spot it is forever. My, my plan is to turn this from just a, a, a wooden shed in the field, which is very, very flammable, to full-on anti-Santa Christmas Fortress headquarters. Name pending. Speaking of pending names, some dickhead said name the bear Shelf. So then it's an elf on a shelf. That's hilarious. <laughs> shelf is a great name for a bear, though. <laughs> First things first, I've done a little more deforestation as a treat so I can give uh, a house, a dedicated house to General Sparkle's General Cozy. <laughs> because before, she was General very much not that cozy, in fact, actually, because she was in the dining room. I'm going to take my good friend Buttercup, and I think I'm just going to say send it. Like, don't do anything else. Just go all in. Oh, okay, the hunting if necessary. Definitely do that. But other than that, just send it. Just like quarry all day, every day. Okay, that's a concern, isn't it? That's a concern, because I'm not sure there's much I can do about this. Um, Christmas Carol has stunned them. Sorry, Maurice has stunned Christmas Carol, who's gone on a murderous rage. Make 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 a break for it. Make a break for it. Make a break for it. General Cozy? Oh, I don't want to bring them down. Can we, we... We could freeze them. We could try and just freeze them, see if that will... Okay, you're, you're freezing now, right? That's how that works? Freezing. There we go. There we go. I, I, I think that's probably the safest way to take them out, because I don't want to risk them dying, because they're our best builder. This isn't going to end well. Their limbs might fall off, but at least they'll be alive, damn it. Stay away, you mangy little Grinch child. You stay away from the murderers. I know you've got an obsession with that. But now we can give them the razzle-dazzle and take them out. You've only got one melee, not you. You've got four. General Cozy has ten. General Cozy, go bash Christmas Carol. Okay, come on. Come on. You've just got to beat up a freezing man enough to take him prisoner. That's all. Okay, good hit. Good hit. You can stop. You can stop. You can stop. Jesus Christ. Friendly fire this series has been tremendous. To say that we're all supposed to be kind elves. Murder is quite famously not that kind. You little shit. Oh, okay. Leg lost to frostbite. When did that happen though? Oh, shit. Oh, God. You got, br you got br a frostbite on your brain. No. What the hell are you talking about, brain frostbite? What's that screaming as well? Is the bear in a... 
Is that the elf? Oh, it's another grizzly bear. A friend. El uh, shelf 2.0. I might go and get you. Anyway, what I was about to say before we got very distracted there is I want to get Buttercup in the quarry nonstop. Look, don't worry about the bed rest. Okay, okay. Well, apparently you are worried about the bed rest. Come up here and tend, tend you first. Well, there's a valuable lesson right there. Don't use the frostbite as a defensive measure. I mean, I, I did stop him murdering the other person, to be fair. Could have ended a lot worse with the crossbow. I mean, it could have ended much worse, given that you can't move. My best builder has no arms. <laughs> it's really just great. Oh, sorry, what was my plan for today? Oh, that's right, build a fortress. I'll let you know when I figure out how the hell I'm going to do that. Ooh, and there it is. 36 gingerbread plates. Thank you. Now all we need is a builder, and I've got myself a... Christmas Fortress. One, this is actually amazing. We're getting sandstone chunks. No one's ever been this excited about sandstone chunks. As a side effect, that means we can finally build a lovely Christmas fireplace. I mean, eventually, I need a stone cutting table first. Now, the gingerbread quarry can also have some other secrets, like candy cane, which is very helpful. Kansas wood, right? So we can make some candy cane tables, chairs, that type of thing. Maybe, rarely, Buttercup might uncover the secret of Christmas and dig up some presents. Very rarely. 5% in fact. Got another sabotage mission, but I think we've got to focus on our own people for a little while because they are breaking now left, right, and center. Make sure this place is good before I send them elsewhere. General Cozy becomes the sharpshooter. I mean, she's pretty damn good. Maybe slightly faster reload speed. I just don't know what is best with this crossbow. Every time mine is 5%. Does take a long time to aim. And her accuracy is already pretty good. I'm going to go with aiming. Oh, shit. Did Christmas Carol get an infection? Straight to Christmas. Oh, maybe this is, uh, maybe, maybe these are fibrous mechanites. Squeamish Insomniac or Teetotaler. Whoa. Um, Teetotaler, I suppose? What was wrong with you? Holy shit, it was an infection. The triple brain frostbite scar is the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to have done you like this. Oh, shit, but this is something we can deal with. The ancient relic. Santa has lost his precious silver staff. That's his conversion staff, too. Oh, shit. We take that, and we smash it to pieces. And if I'm not mistaken, for every relic of Santa's we smash, we get plus three mood or something to that effect. Hold on a second. Why is everyone bold? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe that's just elf culture. I'm not going to judge. Why is everyone bald, though? Nobody has any hair. Christmas gifts. You're telling me there might be some steel. Oh, shit. We've already mined up some other Christmas gifts, too. Amazing. Uh, who's... I mean, you know, Buttercup... You know what? You've put in the most words to this quarry. You can come and open them. Steel. No. No, 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 no. I don't even understand. We need, we need bloody steel. We need a lot of... We need a lot of steel, though. That's not steel. That's not steel, either. Please. A crumb of steel. I don't ask much. Christ, this is a tremendous amount of beer. Jesus. Give me some oh, Santa hat. Amazing. I just would like a... Just like a crumb of steel. Can't even build a frigging stone cutter's table because I haven't got the 30 steel necessary. Oh, we'll take that apart. Take that apart. We might have to take some of the hydroponics apart. Okay, I don't, I don't think I've really got a choice here. I spent all of it on that geothermal generator. Actually, there might be some slag that's built up. Hold on. Six whole slag. Thank God. Okay, now we're in business. Hello there. This place is going to look like a paradise. We've built up 623 gingerbread. First things first, let's upgrade the barracks. Wapow, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> you put it on those coolers. Just, just put those on there. Put those on the permanent to-do list. Then we're gonna have enough steel. Tech printer demolition. Oh, is this another? Oh, cool. Go out and smash a tech printer up for 31 intel. Seems pretty damn good. One champion, one genocide, two troopers. To be fair, I said that last time and then uh then it wasn't. I still Oh, we, we should. I was going to say, I don't think we should leave the base, but we have to. We have to. What are we going to do? See here? Let's, let's, send, let's send Sparkles, Cozy, and Bauble. I think they're all we need to do a little bit of smashing. There's no downside to not doing it, though, right? We're not going to be, like, punished. I could accept it, and then if, it, if, if, if things really go badly... It's quite far away. If things really go badly, we can just not worry about it, but we're fine. Sparkles, Cozy, and the Hammerer himself. Take shelf, please. Oh, shit. And a tribal database to try and track down Santa's magic stick. I'm going to smash that stick today. Mark my words. I'm going to rip Santa's stick clean off. We've arrived, and Buttercup has dug up more presents. Buttercup, you are my best friend. Okay. What are we looking at? Oh, God. They're actually here this time. Oh, God. Oh, God. They seem to have large turrets. Imperial Max Pack. Some sort of, some sort of heavy security van. What the hell are these? Tech I disc stack. That's great lore that the Imperials make the tech prints to be able to uh, pass it amongst their own faction. What the hell is this then? That doesn't look friendly. That looks like four turrets stapled into one turret. Okay, um, right, let's go up here. Go up here. They don't know we're here yet, right? They don't know we're here. They're never gonna know. <gasps> Shit and piss. Run bear. 
Run there. Run there. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Good God. <laughs> Look at that thing go. That's awesome. I mean, it'll be awesome when we build it in our base. Not when we're on the receiving end of it, if you don't mind. I could just, like, break through here and, and, and smash these, right? Oh, God. Let's give it a go. Uh, Bauble, you've got that, um... Won't use melee weapons. What? <gasps> I made you the shooting master. Okay, that's not a problem, actually. That's not a problem. Yeah, I would never take the crossbow away from General Cozy. Sparkles, you're going to swap weapons here temporarily. That's totally on me. Completely 100% my fault. I should have made you the smasher, and instead I made you that. Wait, can you have a crypto shield and a regular shield? Oh, shit. Actually, this might be big brain time. Mr. Sparkles, bring down that wall. They're very, uh, very un unhappy about that situation. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not bothered. Can we get indoors before they... No, not at that rate. Come down here. Stick to the wall. Stick to the wall. This is big brain time. Watch this. Kapow. Die. Great shot. <laughs> that was amazing. Die. Boil and die. Boil and die. Let's put a shot there. Put a shot there. Come on. Come on. Fire. Now. 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 Okay. That worked tremendously well. A little bit too well. A backup. Oh my god. We turned them into dust. That was awesome. And I'm not entirely sure how I did it. But I'm certainly not complaining. Uh, get away. Get in there. Get in there. This is so goddamn good. You will never get sparkles. You will never get sparkles. We just got to watch out for that turret. And people were pointing out we could just cut the turrets from power elsewhere. So if I can smash this area, we can we can then reverse engineer the turrets. I think we've already done it. I think that was so goddamn. Why? Okay, you're fine. Oh, are we fine? You can't see me from there, right? That was so enormous, big brain. Can we just say like punch the power conduits? Uh, I certainly don't see why not. I mean, you've got two shields, so this should be fine. Turrets don't use power. Why do I ever pay attention to anyone in the comment section? Remind me. Remind me why I do that. The turrets don't use power. Why did I doubt myself? Never doubt myself again. Get, that, get the fuck away. Don't fire that. Do not fire that. Have some common sense about you, Bauble, you idiot. Okay, General Sparkle somehow, somehow lost that fight. Oh, they were a battle elf. I mean, I should have seen that coming. I did expect him to take them out before that became a problem, though. Okay, kill them dead. Oh, bubble. Now, now, fire! Oh, close. God, oh, you whiffed that. Okay, we're, we're fine, though. We're fine. You keep taking out the turret. No, because that might kill Sparkles. Go around there, pick Sparkles up. Nice, great shot. Oh, okay, okay. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you, but we're all right. We're all right. We're fine. That was, that was a little bit messy. It didn't go quite as well as I anticipated. It was a little messy. Bring them down. Puffin's back up. Are you shitting me? For God's sake, you're bleeding out in five hours. Just stay down. Oh, God. Oh, God. Carry. Run. 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 Good God, that was close, huh? These ones we can cut from power, though. Surely, 250 watts. Okay, okay. That makes that much, much easier. Now, all we have to do is somehow rescue you without getting shot. <laughs> okay, good work. Uh, okay. Are people aren't going to die? I need to clarify. Like, this is this is fine. Everybody's up. No one's bleeding out. Just a lot of bruises. We can we can solve this problem. Hold on. Watch this. Danger. 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 We're fine. Don't run again. Don't run again. Trust me. Don't run again. You're fine. You're fine how it is. Okay. Okay. That shield is doing good work. Oh, you can really see it from there. Incredible. You see? We're all fine. We're all fine. And then you just take that wall apart. And then we go in. And then everybody's okay. Okay. One turret down. That's actually down now for good. Okay. Um... What's the range on that? Can we just give them wide berth? That's their minimum range. They have no... They have no maximum range. Okay. So even if we run across here, you can still see. But the chance of you hitting has got to be so low at that point, right? And then all we do is we come up to... Uh, stay stay wide. Come up there. Go around there. See, not a problem. Not a problem. Everything's good. Sneak around here. And then the same thing again. We're fine. We're safe. And then we can just get all this intel. And we're great. Can I do anything with this? Can we uninstall them? We claim them? Oh, you can't uninstall them. Shit. That would be tremendously cheesy. Bruh. But it was worth a go. Bruh. My guy. You fucking fool. Okay, you stay drafted. You stay... Oh my god, there's seconds. There's se Don't die. Oh, oh, I thought that was somebody dying. You're fine. Bubble, 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 bubble. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Take that out. Just, just, just like stand back. Just stand back. Stand back. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. We're all okay here. Annabeth has grown. Great news. Boom. Oh, 
A little messy. You know what this game really needs? The ability to pause it would be great because then you could plan things out quite a lot, couldn't you? Simple meal from the bear and then everything is good. Let's crack open all of these, see if we get some nice stuff. I presume it will just be intel? No. What the fuck? <laughs> Hello. As if we just found cataphract armor lying around. Oh my god. What's that? Invisibility engulfer. Multi-use personal invisibility device engineered based on experimental imperial technology. Allows the user to become invisible for a brief duration. Multi-use? Oh shit, there was absorber armor in there. Oh sorry, Janissary Curus. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. You become invisible for an hour. If you attack, you become visible. But for shit like this, that is amazing. The cooldown is barely anything. Look at that, we can already become invisible again. This is so good with the with the kind of long range weapon like that because we could have done this something like this so much smoother with an invisibility device hey, goodbye tech printers this one's for gumdrop boom slay arrived with 31 intel and then of course whatever we grab from here as well break into anything valuable oh my god three advanced components don't mind if i do holy crap what about the ammo boxes just a shitload of steel what, what are these things for they're just uh, robust exterior makes an ideal shield on the battlefield. Right, so we can't hack it. Fair enough. Yeah, prioritize extracting is just extracting intel. Okay, fair enough. With that, I think we're golden. Literally, given that we found prestige cataphract. My god. Janissary stuff, cataphract gear. Is it a bit weird that we're... Oh, shit, an orbital trade beacon's quite nice. Is it weird that we are wearing imperial stuff? I suppose kind of, like a, like a little bit. It's either that or it goes to waste. And you know what? I'd rather use it to beat Santa than just let it go to rust. I think that's totally fine. We're going to take some tool cabinets because apparently we can carry it. So why the hell not? If the stargation gets a little bit bad and we need to pick up speed, whatever, we'll dump them. But if we can get them back, they'll be... Oh, fuck. That would be lovely. Sorry, Annabeth, we were a little bit busy. Our Grinch child. So she has been educated by General Sparkles. Neat brawler or heat inclined. Oh my God. The Annabeth the Grinch child becoming some unstoppable brawler is so good. At the age of seven, she's going to have 13 melee with a passion in it. <laughs> Big main character energy. Maybe that Zeus hammer will be yours one day, Annabeth. Little creepy child. Oh my God, wait. Oh, shit, you just randomly converted him. Amazing. Oh, a Christmas Carol. You weren't the person I wanted to recruit. I wanted to convert Vest. Oh, Sonny, sometimes these things happen. Take my rod. Take, wait, are you the person I'm trying to, oh, you're not the person I'm trying to convert. Fuck off, Christmas Carol. You come down here, Vest. You take that damn cataphract armor off, too. What the hell do you think you're doing? I don't give you permission to wear that. And you've put the Janissary armor on. Although, to be fair, it looks kind of cool. Get whacked. No more diverse thoughts in the base. Correct? Everybody's happy. Look at that. I would like to give Bauble the prestige cataphract armor. Then we fix all the bloody rolls, and now Bauble can use can use the uh, the hammer and the shield belt. There you go. Bauble is the mighty melee warrior I wanted in my heart. And speaking of which, ah, oh, I thought that might happen. Great melee kicked in for Annabeth. So now she's got 20 melee at the age of seven. <laughs> uh, have we got a spare? I think we've got loads of spare shield belts. You know, we just need a weapon for Annabeth, and she's like the best fighter we've got. Look at all these gifts. Oh, I honestly thought 5% would be rare enough, but I suppose if you're in the quarry all day, every day, this is this is probably going to happen. I've got a sword, a uranium longsword. That's kind of a cool weapon to have when you're seven. Somewhere on this world, the shiver just went down Santa's spine. It went down my spine, looking at his damn base. Good God, what an eyesore. Yes, Fortress Christmas. The gingerbread Bastion. The Candy Cane Castle. The mistake, the mistake, because I think some of this is flammable. I think the Candy Cane is flammable. Big mistake. But it looks lovely, though, doesn't it? Oh, the windows stick out like a sore thumb. Like chocolate chips? Do you have chocolate chips on gingerbread? I don't think so. Please, can I build the windows out of something else? Rustic window. Yes, please. I'd like to build that out of... That's the best we've got. That's the best we've got, I'm afraid. Priced more presents. Oh, shit. Well, those might need to be slightly rarer. To be fair, they've spent, like, weeks working in that quarry, okay? You also have, like, a very, very good miner. Let him cook. Is our only way to our only way to get steel is to get Christmas presents and then open them and get steel, okay? Is the only thing Speaking of which, you see that. Amazing. Twice in a row. Show me. Come on. Oh! Certain Christmas gifts maybe only correlate to a particular a particular drop. Look, so like this might give us more steel? It did. It absolutely does. Oh, cool. Well, there you go. Oh no, maybe not, because these are all giving me steel now. I don't know what's going on. 
Maybe they just know what I want in my heart. Well, your guess is as good as mine. What the hell's coming out of half of this crap? But that's okay. It's, it's an enormous amount of beer. Like, an insane amount. Paid toxic fallout from the Empire. I just don't know why the Empire would still offer us missions if we're deserters. I wonder if it's because we're the only other faction that that isn't allied to them. I'm not sure. What else can I do for you? I'm trying to help my people here. Slept in impressive barracks. Okay, I mean, that's not really much I can do about that. Disturbed sleep, slept in the heat. It's all to do with, like, sleeping arrangements. So I think, I, I mean, I put this in as a fire break because it was all very flammable, but the gingerbread should solve most of that problem. So if I expand this all out, hollow it, I might be able to give them all a separate bedroom. Because we've got like a, a like a chess room there and then a sitting room. We don't need that. I can make this work. Now, Bauble, sadly, as you might have noticed there, does have kill thirst because Santa, Santa cannot create. He can only mock and something, something, I don't remember the rest of the quote, but you, you get what I'm saying. He's corrupted these elves to give them a kill thirst. I'm afraid to say I can do nothing about that whatsoever. That's just something we're just gonna have to try and, and go out of our way to keep Bauble as, uh, as happy as possible. Thanksgiving? What do you mean Thanksgiving? That's the wrong holiday. One of the tribes who notice your food stores are low. They provide you with some food, no strings attached. They thank you for being such good friends. Uh, who are you? Hello? <laughs> I guess it was just a, a, a random tribe of settlers out there. Not big enough to be considered a full faction, I guess. All right, we are starving to death, despite the fact that I am constantly non-stop hunting everything that moves. I can explain why there's consistently no food in a single word. Shelf. Turns out keeping a grizzly bear is a lot of fucking food. Uh. Good news, I found enough steel to build a high-tech research bench. Now that right there is some good shit. We have done as much as I can to spruce this base up, which is to say everybody has a separate bedroom. They're not very nice bedrooms, but they've got, you know, all the comfortable furniture I can realistically ram in there. Actual external walls are taking forever, okay? I, we're just gonna have to wait for the gingerbread mines to give us what we need. It's taken a long time. Not only that, my best builder has no arms, and it's very difficult to hold a hammer between your teeth. We scrapped some of the old stuff too. I turned this building into, uh, um, into something that was less overhanging the water because that was getting very annoying trying to place down anything. Now my storage is full of wood because I cut down half the trees on the map and then decided I wasn't going to use that anymore. I'm a monster. <laughs> as much as I would have loved to have been like, aha, here it is, the base is built. We have intel that is about to expire and we need to spend it. So for 88 intel, we could buy some really nice stuff. I would love to buy some regular bionics, but sadly it's not there. And of course, we can't buy armor sets without the critical intel. Zeus hammers, monoswords, plasma swords is all kind of nice. We could buy some helmets, I suppose. But honestly, I think get a few charge rifles, get a few charge weapons. What about like, um, like Imperial defenses for 20? How many Teprints do you need for that? Because this unlocks, this unlocks that massive gun we saw when we went to the, uh... We went to the thing earlier. Oh, it only requires one tech print. That's great. And then Imperial War Solutions also one tech print as well. So we could look into something like that. I think that'd be kind of fun. I want to look at all the new stuff the mod offers, right? So give me that. I'm, I'm taking Imperial Defenses. And then I think some charge weapons would be pretty nice. Psychic Amplifiers. And we give it to... Uh, we give it to Fest? The, 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 the Technomancer? Because Neuroformers cost actual uh, critical intel, right? Yeah, three of those. Ah, shit, okay. Um, services. We could buy a quest. Can we buy a quest to... Uh, um, we can trade critical intel for standard intel. Can we buy a quest that would give us critical intel? Because that'd be real nice. Sadly not. That must be much higher tier than we are currently capable of being. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to buy a couple of charge rifles then. I think that's... Uh, uh, you know what? Let's buy a couple of charge LMGs and then... Um, maybe like a charge sniper. We got that crossbow though, which I think is real good. I might buy another invisibility engulfer because I love those. Those are great. This is 60 so far. Um, and then we could drop the last 20 on like the Imperial War solutions. Just so that we can look at all of this new stuff. And then what have I got? Eight more to spend. We might as well spend on something. Gastroanalyzer. I think I'm good. Have you got anything else that costs exactly eight just to get it all, all tidied off? Prestige Siege Breaker Helmet to go with the Cataphract gear. Send it. Send it. I like that a lot. Boom. Put in my order. I have a duty to keep these people happy, so I'm going to buy a multi-analyzer. Uh, research multi-analyzer. So that we can get ourselves some bionics. Then I can get my good friend Christmas Carol back upon his feet. Or back, back upon his arms. Boom. Deserter dead drop. Looks as if Christmas has come early. 
<laughs> well, I mean, it hasn't because I earned that stuff. Uh, Christmas gifts, you know, the ones that you pay, pay for. I'm really happy with what we've done today. And I feel like I, I feel like the gameplay loop is very obvious at this point, right? I think we get uh, some deep drills. Spell very much correctly, yes. We, we sink all those resources into defenses once this place is defended and i trust that my people aren't gonna die and that we can keep up that good fight we send off our best characters whether that's just bauble general sparkles and general cozy whether or not we really equip these people as well as possible send the whole lot out that way we can go out there into the world and we can disrupt Santa's forces knowing that our fortress is defended the dream would be cover every single one of these windows with turrets could you imagine they, we would be unstoppable. They would never get this. Build a big steel bridge in the middle there. Big wall around it. Put all the intel and everything super important right in the middle of the river. That would be awesome. And that might be the plan. We get the deep drills. We get the defenses. Then we can go hard on the offensive. Working up that hierarchy and killing Santa. Thank you all for joining me today. Do not forget down in the comments to throw your suggestion for the advent calendar. It can be mods. It can be ideas, themes. You name it. Throw them at me. And we're going to explore ourselves some deserters. I mean, I've got to give a shout out to the, to the VE squad, right? Because what they've done here is produce something like DLC level. Don't get me wrong. I really liked the Empire mod that they put out, of course. But it felt like, to me, that was what royalty should have been. Whereas this feels like a full-on expansion. This is, like, worthy of being DLC as far as I'm concerned. Very excited to see whether or not our people can overthrow Santa. Interesting where the difficulty will take us. We can always tweak things here and there if we think things are going a little bit too smoothly, if the mods give us too much of a benefit. Uh, but I surely hope that you will punish me as equally as you will reward me. Oh, thank you to... <laughs> Speaking of people who reward me, Ziggy, Captain Full Send, Anemone, an enemy of anemones, Ghost Talk, Methanius, Mika, Atticos, Pokemon Backer, Utah95, Good Doggo, Phantom Volpen. Ox, Wrecker, Todd Howard, Crow Skull, Abby, Ornat, Sideshow C, Vox Dei, Walter Bledsoe, Catlord, Griff, Psychofire, Scaps, Commissar, Fox, Oil Bucket, and Gamer Man. 7799 for their support. The executive producer stays over on Patreon. Thank you for making this series possible. Thank you for allowing the second channel to exist and the third channel. In the fourth channel. Don't worry about it. It was just an explosion, okay? I'll deal with that tomorrow. Thank you as well to God's Nut, Slime Jack, Cast the Red, Arson D'Argent, Mikey Rock, Betamus Max, Edrissa, Hottie Sphinx, Andrew McKinnon, Serge Devil as Elliptic, John Duckworth, Adamski XD Zen Master, and Tear as well. Goodbye.